number one Iron Age booty daddy. You don't own it, you won't own it, and you never will. Ladies and gentlemen, Walmart and Best Buy apparently have decided that they're going to discontinue physical media sales for all of that entertainment that you enjoy. So if you guys would like to walk down this road of the dystopian future with me, make sure that you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. <clears throat> but with all that YouTuber stuff out of the way, it was announced that in 2024, again, Best Buy and Walmart are going to be discontinuing a lot of the physical media sales that we are going for. Now, when was the last time that you went out and you actually bought a DVD or bought a Blu-ray? I tend to buy DVDs. They're a little cheaper. That's just me or when you bought a video game. I can tell you right now that it was a couple weeks ago I actually bought Devil May Cry 5 because it was one of the few of the franchise that I haven't actually played and I wanted to make sure that I played it before I went on my rant on Sundays after I made a Devil May Cry video. I also know that this year we've also purchased physical copies of uh, the Harry Potter game that came out and so on and so forth. But when was the last time that you went out and you bought something? I can't tell you how many conversations that I've had with my friends this year alone. And they said, man, this game is really good. It's super awesome. And I said, well, dude, it's 60 or 70 bucks. I can't get it. Oh, no, dude, just get it on Game Pass. And I have literally gone at my friends and said, I will not get Game Pass. You do not understand the slippery slope that that leads us down. Game Pass is a way to make you think that you have control of this thing, but you never will. And it is stripping our private property rights away from us. And my friends go, yeah, dude, well, it's just easy for me. That's right. It is convenient. Game, Pack Game Pass is wonderfully convenient. So is Netflix. So is Disney Plus. And so were all of these places where it made you think you actually possessed that thing. How many times have we seen people get outraged for something being discontinued on the platform that they wanted to watch because I pay for this service and why? Well, you also pay for your apartment. You also pay for things that you don't own and the price tends to go up or the features change, so on and so forth. And so now what road do we go down? We're no longer allowed to physically hold in our hands a disc that we can pro put into the DVD player or the Blu-ray player or the PlayStation or the Xbox, and pretty soon the Xbox and PlayStation won't have disc drives. See the Xbox Series S, which I have over there, which was gifted to me by a very dear friend of mine, or also see the new PS5 Slim, I don't know what they're calling it, but it does not have a disc drive. You see, the way of the future and the way that we have said that we want to consume media is not by physically going out to a store, buying that thing, taking it home with us, plopping it into the disk drive. You guys get this, right? The way of the future is going to be the way that we have told these companies we want to consume media. By media that we no longer have in our possession. Now they can go in, they can alter dialogue, they can change scenes in movies they've been doing it already disney plus is already going in and altering things in their movies back from the 80s and making sure that what was once there is no longer there hell i think if i'm not mistaken they took trump out of home alone 2 i didn't think that really existed but all they have to do is nip tuck one little scene and it's gone and that thing that you remember from your childhood that thing that you loved. God, I remember this movie. Boy, when I was a when I was a young lad, I just remember this phone thing in my mind. Well, guess what? They can change it with a little bit of a nip tuck, and you don't even have the disc in the house to prove that they changed it. What happens when one day they decide to go in and they decide to take Peter Jackson's Lord of the Rings? I think enough of us have those DVDs, but how about some smaller titles? that you remember growing up too fondly. How about movies that we go, oh my God, this movie was amazing. This built Hollywood back in the 40s. This built Hollywood back in the 50s. But you don't have the disc. Maybe you watch it every year and all of a sudden the Christmas movie that you used to watch, it's not quite the same. You see the whole point that I'm driving at, ladies and gentlemen, is that they have been testing the waters for a rental economy essentially a neo-feudalist type of system that they're trying to get us all back into. 
In fact, most people out there now, a lot of people don't even drive cars anymore. What do they do? They rent a car. Oh, I'm sorry. They call an Uber. You're, And eventually, there will be companies out there who decide, well, we're just going to have all of the cars. You know all these self-driving cars out there anymore? Well, what happens when those self-driving cars are now owned by multinational corporations? You won't even own the mode of transportation that you have. You won't own the media that you watch, You're not even the physical disc. You won't own the very place that you live because they've destroyed the owner's market. So ladies and gentlemen, my question to you is, do we blame these large multinational corporations or do we blame our addiction to convenience? This is something that has been on my mind for a long time. Private conversations I've had with friends. I still will not get Game Pass to this day. I still regret buying games on Steam because I know I don't actually own those. And even though they're stored on my hard drive, you still have to have an online connection to be able to play some of those games. It's getting harder and harder in the world to own things, to continue forward. But I want you to ask this thing, this one thing, think 10 years in the future. What is that next thing that you will no longer own? What's that next thing that you will no longer be able to purchase? Take home to your house. Are physical book sales next? I know a lot of people out there really love to read on their tablets but I've got my books right here. And I know when the power goes out and everything gets a little dark, my wife and I, we can pull out the candles and we can still read stories to the kids. So what exactly do you hope to own in the future that you can physically hold in your hands and take with you for many years? A little bit of a thought process there on my part. But I want to know what your comments are down below. As always, if you guys have been here before, I make sure to read all of your comments every single Sunday on a live stream I call Sunday Coffee. So if you like what I have to say, if you hate what I have to say, I will read all of it. And I hope to see you there on Sunday. And so ladies and gentlemen, without any further ado, until next time, cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.